guys, what's up? Ellie Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to Empires, where my great empire of Animalia is missing something very important. Citizens. But who in their right minds would want to live in Critter City, a place where bad things just keep mysteriously happening, and Ariana Gote disturbs the peace every five seconds? You know? Come to think of it, I've never even seen a wandering trader come by here. So, to acquire some citizens, I'm going to have to be cunning, conniving, and downright dastardly. It's time to bust out the disguise kit. I stashed it away in this little secret area for later use, and the time is upon us. Let's see. Goat head, cow head, chicken head, spyglass, ah, smallish bean's head. This will do nicely. Ta-da! I have disguised myself as the god of Stratos, aka Joel, and I have a rather cunning plan to lure his adoring villagers into my own empire. Now, even though I have this foolproof disguise, there is more to impersonation than a costume. I need to really get into character if I want to lure these villagers away. <clears throat> ah, puny mortal sheep. What a bountiful harvest you have produced for my empire of Stratos. Now, remind me, where did I put my villagers again? Nope, that's not it. Aha! My villagers, right where I left them. Good day, peasants. It is I, your great leader, and I've come to select a lucky few of you to join me in heaven. Uh, not, not heaven. So somewhere nice. Yes, foolish peasant. Wave goodbye to Stratos. That's the last you'll ever see of it. And we ought to do something about those fingers and toes, too. They're quite grotesque. But don't you worry. I have just the thing to fix you up. Nothing to see here. Just an 11-foot god taking his villager for a boat ride. It's really nothing to gawk at. Usually I don't allow humans into my inner sanctum, but I will allow it just this once for the ritual. I just need to craft a little something special using the key ingredient of my empire. Voila! A little sprinkling of Animalia dust. Okay, fella, say goodbye to your fingers and toes and that bald flesh of yours. Ta-da! Now that's more like it. Look at that bushy tail. This is perfect. 12 seconds later. It's getting far too- No! You have brought chaos to the council. I'm never gonna get him back in place now. No, stop, please. No, you're making it worse. No, stop knocking the council off their chairs. Rude. That must be the human in you acting up. Okay, clearly we cannot all live in the community center. So I'm going to have to build a place out here for my villagers to live. And step one, is to clear the trees. Now, please look away while I craft these pathetic stone axes. Because I used all of my iron on lanterns and I have not yet financially recovered. So using nothing but a stone axe, I cleared the area of all these birch trees. And when I was done, I took a little break and went AFK in the safety of this treetop. And nothing can go wrong. <laughs> So that's why all my enchanting levels are gone. But at least now we have this huge cleared area ready for building. The only problem is the couple of floating bee nests, which I am not equipped to deal with. I'm starting to realize that a lot of my problems would be solved by a silk touch enchantment. But alas, I have to call in a professional. Hello? Hello? I have a bee situation. I need assistance. Oh yeah, I have what you need. Don't worry. Do you think you could come and help me move them around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love working with bees. I'll be there soon. Great. So, while I wait for Jem to arrive to take care of my bee problem, I will start to prepare all of my building blocks. I want to match the colors and style of the community center for this district, so I'm going to need a lot of white and purple concrete again, which means a lot of sand and gravel. And if you thought I was going to collect all of this with a stone shovel, you would be correct. That is exactly what I did. I don't know what's wrong with me. But after a full inventory of sand and a full inventory of gravel, I had claimed the lives of 97 shovels. And thanks to their sacrifice for the Empire, we now have all the concrete powder we need. And I have devised a genius plan to turn it into concrete. I will just tower up to the height limit with my concrete. And from up here, we place the rest of it, and gravity will do all the hard work for me. One eternity later. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'm alive. Fortunately, I was able to complete the rest of Concrete Mountain without further incident, so now all that's left to do is mine the concrete. Ta da! Two hours later. Three days later. Lizzie, what are you doing? Why are you using a stone pickaxe, babe? No. Why have you not been using the diamond pickaxe? It's nearly broken. I didn't want to break it, so I... Does it have mending? Stop! Yeah, but I don't care about these stone pickaxes. They can die. Use these. Use these, okay? Fix it up. Stop using the stone pickaxes. For goodness Ow. sake. Oh, I haven't been using my pickaxe because it's almost broken. But I can fix that with these bottles of enchanting that Joel gave me. It turns out people will give you free things if you horrify them enough. So let me just mend this up. And now I can get rid of this giant purple obelisk much faster. <gasps> yes. Wow, this is much better. Ta-da! Da -da 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 -da. Concrete mountain is no more. And now I have all of this concrete. And I... Oh my gosh, my pickaxe. <gasps> I nearly broke it. Three more uses and I would have lost this forever. This is why it stays in the chest where it's safe. <gasps> bee help is here. Oh, thank goodness. I brought you a kit to help with the bees. I'm good. <gasps> there you go. Everything fell out. Okay, they love fire. Got it. Set them on fire. Da 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 da. And under. Uh, they like you smoke. Like so. So now I can just do that. <gasps> and there you go. You got your wow. very own bees. There, like there's, there's another one over here. I need help. I can't do this I on my you, own. I got you. There we go. Wow. Now I got some bees. Thank you so much. Do oh, wait. I should probably pay you. Oh, uh... <clears throat> Hang on, one second. You've probably never seen this before. It's called Amethyst, and it's Whoa. beautiful. It is beautiful, and it kind of fits with my color palette. It's perfect. And there's plenty more where that came from, if you ever want to trade. Bye! Bye, good luck! Good luck. <gasps> the bug lady can fly! Well, now the bee problem is all taken care of, I can finally build a space for my citizens. And I have... A plan. Now all that's left to do is place these blocks to transform this empty terrain. And we will start with the stone base. And let the block placing begin. <gasps> Wait, hang on a second. I am committing a cardinal sin. This is unacceptable. I'm going to have to fill this in. I cannot build an empire without solid foundations. There. Perfect. Okay, slight issue. I do need to clear all of this grass out of the way. And I am going to be doing that using stone tools. So please look away if this offends you. I can't take it anymore. Too many stone shovels have died today. <sighs> I need some better tools. I will take one of my four diamonds and I will craft a diamond shovel. And then... I will make an enchanting table. Oh, I have just enough obsidian. And can't. How do I make an enchanting table? How do I do this? How do I? Oh, I need two diamonds. Okay, this is a significant investment. I'm down to my last diamond. But it'll be worth it. I need this. Oh no, I only have eight enchanting levels. What the heck? Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, I know. The enchanting bottles. All right, efficiency two. Okay, let's do it. Yes. Ah, yes, much quicker. <gasps> oh my gosh, what happened? Where am I? Oh my gosh! Oh no! Help! Oh no! Oh no, no, no! Ah disaster, disaster! Bad things have happened! I have unleashed the worst kind of evil upon my own empire. We must deal with this poultry infestation immediately. Oh dear. I wasn't looking where I was digging. And I have put the entire chicken industry out of business. It's all gone wrong. Everything is looking really terrible around here. What have I done? Okay, okay. Just trust the process. We're just in the ugly phase right now. Nothing that can't be solved with a quick time lapse. 
So after the little chicken incident, it was time to get to work. No more dilly-dallying around with stone tools. Now, this is definitely the ugly phase of the process, but I'm going to fix that with these exciting blocks. I want to continue the purple theme from the community center into this district, so every building has a purple roof, but they're all slightly different shapes and sizes. There should be plenty of room here now for lots of fox villagers to live. And 13 Minecraft days later, it is finally complete. Ta-da! Okay, so it's a little empty right now, but just imagine this place with all the villagers roaming freely. I want to make this place feel really full of life, so if you have suggestions for what to name my villagers or how to decorate their house or any shop ideas, please let me know in the comments and I will see you next time when we bring this district to life.